So hello everybody. Um, so this is a tutorial following, uh, showing how to make um, this. Okay. Um, over here, I already download your the um, the folders. So ages, no, not this one. Just go back to download, and you see handstand. So if his page, you see a quick preview, preview of that. So just go ahead, drag it into Photoshop. Okay, uh, the photo is going to be load. Okay, so this is now color. Oops. Um, what happened? Okay, where is my cursor? Um, something wrong with my Photoshop and where um, my cursor is disappear. So, um, just going to... I have no idea why it happened. Okay, here you go. So this is the cousin. Um, something uh, happened to read. So, come in Z. Okay. Okay, just gonna hide it for now. And um, we we start with the color. Um, and we don't want that. So you can either go here, and say black and white. Uh, and that's it. Is apply. A color to you but um, maybe you don't want that because um, we want to apply directly into the layer here so what you can do my first uh, my further is going to adjustment and gradient map um, so see that and what we're gonna do is change this color into white back to white okay and you see it's like inverse and uh, we don't want that, just hit reverse. So it's going to give you black and white images. Um, by the way, if you go here and change some parameters around, it's also affect the image. So maybe we want something darker like this. Um, a little bit dark. Maybe two darks. Okay, just, uh, yes. Okay, so once we apply it's done. Uh, go ahead, double click on the pictures and to bring up the layer style, that's it, a quicker way to do it. So um, just go here and say color overlay, it's red, don't panic, just go here, change to some colors you want to. So in the case of the tutorial, it's just like brownish like this. Go here, change to soft light. You can also explore different uh, blending modes, so you, and you can see how it's different. So soft light. Okay, cool. Um, so let's just go ahead, make a new layer. So from this new layer, what you and what we want, I want you to do is just gonna hide my timeline, so we have a full view of thing. Um, now let's just gonna create a new document. Uh, probably saying pixel by pixel is 400 by 400 uh, okay so that is our document and just go ahead take the take this tool and make sure it's like a path over here make sure it's a path then draw a rectangle as uh, just a rectangle so when you're done with that see how it should say shape over here so click on shape, uh, so that change the pink because I have my foreground color is pink. Uh, we might want to change it to black or kind of uh, brown. Uh, no, gray. Sorry, right. So um, we got that. Just gonna hide this and um, go here. Keep this tune. Right click on this and say freeze transform path. I'm not usually do that. I'm usually use the tune here and hit command T. So it's bring me the transform, uh, uh, it's activate the transform thing. So here we can go scale and um, move it like this. Oh, the other way around. So uh, we just make this, okay. So once you're done, just go ahead and enter. So it's gonna ask you, hey, you want to apply that? Yes, please do. And you can always go back and change it again. So 
I think it's like too big, so just make it a little smaller and um, align them like this. Cool. Uh, so that is how I want it. And just go to File and oh, sorry, Edit, then Press Preset. So see, uh, I can say Brushy Brushy. Brushy, brushy. Okay, so done. And um, go back here. Um, there is no changes yet, but if you click on this one, you will probably see uh, our brush being created right here. So just um, go back. Just go ahead and keep the uh, brush tool. Where is the brush? Okay, this is the brush. Make sure you go back here and scroll down. Oh, hit the brush reset first. Make sure that you select this one. Okay, select this one. So say brushy brushy. Maybe smaller play with uh so here you can see uh in the uh tutorial they have this, they did that, uh we did that over here. Okay, now we're gonna play with the setting. Make sure that they have wet edges and uh, smoothing enabled it. So we have smoothing, wet edges, cool. So, oh sorry, wet edges. So get down, you see more stuff. Make sure you have the setting kind of there. So if you go here, make sure you have in is enabled. Then you have the um, this players with it. Like you can always go here and if you accidentally hit tab on your keyboard, you can always go um, hit uh, cap locks to enable and disable the um, visibility of the tool. Okay, go back. So scattering, um, go, go back to this one and they say, okay, shape image, shape dynamic. Go back here, shift dynamic. Uh, just gonna reslide the window so we can see them side by side. Change. Uh, uh, since we have like newer version of uh, Photoshop, they might look a little dip, a little bit different, but uh, no worry about that. So pen T. Okay, see that. Um, Pen tilt, okay, slide that, and make sure you have added jitters to that. And that actually, uh, not really matter. We can have like different this and that. So um, that's gonna create something like that. But I, I pretty sure that we don't want something like that. So I just gonna keep that. Uh, yep, can we try go back and uh, scattering? Maybe, mm. okay. So, uh, idea is play uh, with those settings. Maybe I want it to meet that's my scatter around, just gonna keep them close with each other. Cool. Um, Okay, uh, change that, just scroll down, see, uh, might be a little bit scatter, and mock out, for example, okay, control off, off, and wet it, and auto dynamic, we don't have that, which you can go here and say, huge, and saturation, brightness, purity. Um, so this is the thing that is different to um, your uh, original, uh, the CS4 or CS5. So you can either go to color dynamic or transfer, and you see here opacity, 
and flow jitter so just uh, bring that uh, up so um, it's uh, create something for you uh, okay uh, maybe we're gonna play a little bit with the this one sign and uh, this one so it could be pen pressure change that and um, so the minimum the side uh, angles not sure maybe not the angle so the idea of this is like try experiment with your tune which your uh, with those top of setting to get the right effect that you want to so um maybe spacing make it a little smaller uh, I would say I'm happy with something like this so just gonna paint it uh, like over here just gonna paint it like those guys so they have like thinner and longer so why okay we want something thinner and longer so you can already go back to the document over here and go to layer and okay images then you go to canvas canvas side and you can relatively increase the height of it to like another 400 so it's increased and just double click on that and delete that because I don't need it so I still have this one over here it's a vectors can zoom out command or command minus to zoom out then using the um, tools over here hovering it and just select it command T so that you accessing the um, freeze transform tools what I gonna do is uh, make it bigger and make it thinner maybe I want to scale it a bit so you got scale it enter and V move it around so that is uh, quite similar like this so just go ahead and image go here and find edit crush and brush just make new one and you can see it's automatically update here so just gonna go back to brush take your brush here and change it to uh, this one so you got that the new tools the new brushes but too big you can already make it smaller smaller yep and ship dynamic so it's gonna remember on the setting and scatter and uh, brush post no transfer um, bring that up and see okay uh, what okay maybe you're gonna play something with the count and it's got a too many maybe so let's just gonna go ahead and pin it it doesn't matter what color you got it in as long as um, you have some feel on it and make sure you are not painting directly into your layer one you pin in a new layer all right so it's just gonna uh, have that back in back out so as long as you're happy with your um, with your stuff then just go ahead double click on it to bring up the layer style again and just say drop shadow make sure you create drop shadow drop shadow there's a bit change here so yeah create slightly drop shadow could be change darker color this one change a little bit about the angle uh, the distance not that much um, change this change that All right so yeah maybe something like that and in the um, radiant overlay which is here um, you can have uh, this one either pick this one's too bright 
so you need we need to ship it around by moving like take this away take this away probably take this away and change it to uh, kind of dark green uh, and all right over here it's gonna be a little bit like bluish over here and blue okay maybe that um here we have kind of yellow and brushes now come um oh um hover on that pick the color that you want to use so double click cancels have that and pick the color not not like that but yeah kind of similar and um move that back and can away go here change it this is you you we need to build it uh all right probably uh something down here kind of uh a little bit like that and yep uh change that so we have like kind of similar effect okay what we want to do is um using the uh this one the in this linear some maybe uh okay over here if you click on this and hamline color just up and that you have more color set that you can choose from uh i don't know where it's as well that's one up and that so feel free to choose maybe this one is good uh it doesn't need to be exactly like that And that, and yeah, I think I like this one. Okay, so um, that is it. We align that with the layer. We keep every setting, and um, the drop shadow we already enable that. Uh, now the inner shadow, which is this one, enable that one, and you see we can create some kind of. Okay, that's the angle. But not too much. We just gonna key in one here. Go here one. Multiply. We make it white. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, that the in the shadow. So we want to make it a bit lighter. So it's kind of pop out. Not really pop out, but uh, all right. Also in the radiant, maybe we want to add some kind of uh ping pingrish. A bit ping. Alright. Yeah, maybe something about it like that. Let me bring it up. Okay. So that's could be around that about that. So okay so now we got it as it's there and what you can do is hide it oh no not hide it copy it copy that okay uh just select the la the layer copy and command c command b oh doesn't work anymore okay so what you can do is drag your light layer into create a new layer button right here it's gonna duplicate that for you. All right. So and select all three layer by command shift and resize them. Do something like that. So what we can do is also play around with on the setting to like I believe they say apply here. Right. Here, uh, we're just gonna apply some uh, layer style. Oops, uh, we can also move it to like adding a little bit extra thing to uh, extra 
step to it. Um, plus, we can also like do uh, those soft line, go kind of effect. So uh, I think that's okay. So now we're just gonna go ahead and merge them. So you can select all the three layer, then go merge layer, layer, merge layer. So that's gonna merge it for you. So um, we'll go over here. We have something like that. So like this. Okay. So what they did was, oops, they have this one, right? Uh, everything you merge and you see how is uh how the layer menu layer style disappear. So now we're just gonna use that one. And what we're gonna do is um, command T to go to the transform and then rotate it like um, like what they did. So we have that one, okay. And T again, no, no, uh, oops, uh, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, T, go here and free transform, turn it around, maybe that's angle. And go here say warp so what it does is you can use the handles and start playing with the geometry of the shapes so I want something like coming in and then um, and then go around his leg then um, probably go up so you can play with all of those handles and it's gonna distort it the image so uh, probably something like like that alright so over there just gonna move it around so. All right. Okay. Got here. Drop it here. Then start to play with on the shapes. And then right up. Okay. Okay. Uh, just gonna go by camera reference. So, uh, right. So they have something like that. Uh, so go back, turn it down, and move it like there. T again, and you have whoop and uh. Yes, just gonna play with those settings again to get the right effect that we wanted. Um, so, maybe something like that. So, I'd go around, go in, and okay, maybe that. So we're just gonna move that a little bit up so it cut into his two legs. And you see hey we have kind of pretty seamless effect. So now we're gonna use the um the lasso tune, which is this one. So um just go back here, make sure you select layer zero and um then you can zoom in for better view of this and maybe you want to hide it and now take a look at this so you click on the tune right and you draw maybe you want to follow the his this exactly but there's not a way around for you to do that if you go to magnetic lasso tune click on one of like 
the the uh, border between black and uh, softer color then you go here start to just click and you see how it's automatically match to the um, to the battery and just follow along the line go here uh, Photoshop is um, becoming uh, better and better on this so uh, you can just uh, just move your cursor up and you can always force it to make a, a, a point by an anchor point by click on uh, by click your mouse so I didn't click so I'm just gonna keep following around uh, follow 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 and about here I wanted to cut into his butt and uh, you can always hit space to uh, to enable the pan tool so now we uh, end up here so you select that see and on this one what we can do is say now go back here enable that and you still have your selection just like you, what you see here see that see that okay so what we can do here still using your market tool say okay uh, my Use your layer mask tool, which is this one, like a working path um, tolerance. So you you got a work path. Now go back. Uh, if you go to layer and then go here saying. Where is it? Uh, vector mask. Create a lip clipping mask. Layer mask. Okay. Uh, high, uh, high selection. So if you go to layer, layer mask, high selection, then it's gonna hide uh, the selection that you just made. And um, so that's create some kind of uh, 3D effect. So let's say we got that and uh, what is the thing? Create clipping mask, brush tune, 0% harnish. So um, if you have something like that, you see uh, people paint something from left to right. So over here, you see how you select. This is like the mask of uh, this layer. So everything in white will be shown and the thing in black will be high. So uh, the idea is you can also take your paint tune, your brush tune and uh, go back here. So like a uh, kind of simpler, a simpler to, um, brush like this. So just uh, and make it smaller by hitting the square bracket on your keyboard or changing is on the slider so if you click remember remember to select this one so if you click on this and then hit shift on your keyboard click it again oh uh, don't forget to change your four out color to black by clicking on this arrow so let's go here again click on this you see it's add a little dot like that here and shift on your keyboard click again it's gonna make that but we want something less uh, revealing like that so we're gonna change the opacity to like 50% so we click again we click again it's kind of showing it but not totally so this is how we gonna do that effect uh, over here okay done so we got that and now they add some kind of noise <sighs> okay so what to do that you need to create like a new layer and uh, what they say is okay go to filter noise and add noise say it's still here filter layer filter noise 
and add noise because area empty. So what you need to do is just fill it with something or make a Y4 out. So click on that to select the Y4 out and command delete on your keyboard. No, ah, okay. Need to switch that back and still have that selected. Then command delete on your keyboard to uh to apply the color. Then you go filter and then noise add noise and you see that so uh, you can either go Gaussian's uh, monochrome um, I prefer something with this okay so we have that and what we can do is go back here I think this is what I do too so go back here and apply it by saying not normal anymore but multiply so we have that kind of effect, but uh, this looks like this is a bad idea to have the color. So just gonna undo that. Go ahead, go back and go add noise again. Oops, here go noise, add noise, and turn back mono and Gaussian. Um, that just might be too much. So just slightly noisy. Okay, I think around that is good. Okay, and just go here and say multiply. So it's kind of apply that for us. <coughs> so for the background, we're gonna use the uh, this probably the texture. It's just gonna add uh, so I believe in the folders, they also have this type of uh, texture so what you can do is just drag it in Photoshop again so you have a separate uh, file and you can work on that so you can just click on it okay click on the layer over here and drag it into your um, retro style thingy so over here again it's kind of big maybe you want to um, resign it by command T to resign it, you see I uh, changed that. But let's just gonna zoom out to see everything, so we have better view and better control of it. And we might want to rotate it too, so rotate it and place it about here. Okay, so move it up and apply that by hitting Enter. And just gonna go multiply again, so you have some kind of texture um, apply on the top of a noise and your um, your power line then you have um, the figures over here so it's just grown now and the last thing they do is some top text font here we can also change uh, this like linear linear burn darkens um, I think I like this so we have uh, this type of uh, thingy and this type of texture with the cloud and all the noises I think it's kind of good so I gotta keep it like that so the last thing they did was adding some text so uh, text so just a quick demonstration on how you're gonna use lights on text if you take the paint tool this is the paint tool, so the shortcut key is P, and just uh, quickly draw something. Um, so draw this and draw that. Okay, so I, I want a curve like that. So it's filled with something, but don't worry about that. Go that. Okay, what you can do is you hit the top tool, horn, click that. Okay, in Photoshop, if you click and hold the tools, it's going to activate more options for you. But I, for now, I'm just going to use this. And if you hover on the tool, uh, if you select the, okay. All right, here, and we have the tool. Go here, select that, and you hover on top of that. You see how the cursor change 
from like a marquee to like it with a lines across the thing. So that's gonna follow the text that we're gonna type in. Gonna follow the path. You see this. So I click here and I'm citing uh they go saying they go on uh, one a hundred. So that's gonna be my line. Uh maybe you want to change some like script font. So go here instead of saying Helvetica, um you can choose um where's my favorite script font. So uh brand bond uh could be um or just just pick like might be this one say okay um so after that done you can just go ahead and delete the layer yes ooh that is not good that is not pretty at all okay um so uh if you go back to the top tune the shortcut is a and select that and change to a different font maybe this one is yeah we're just gonna stay with that for now so select that maybe make it a little bit bigger 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 uh maybe 120 something okay uh okay so what if you want to change what if you want to change okay so uh we got something like that so uh it follow along the path and we can also go here um add a little bit of uh shh, but radiant overlay um maybe this one that one um yeah you name it um uh, maybe this one I'm not pretty sure. Okay, just uh, just use the uh, that one to be consistent. As all right, here you go. Maybe add a little bit of drop shadow. Then you have like patterns. Okay, maybe that. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and make an, another layer. And I drag that layer under the text. And now I can use my brush tool and um, select some top up sprinkle no, no, uh, special effect. So append that, and uh, you say like uh, dog flower. So maybe we gonna use that and paint it. Oh, where's my brush? Brush and pan it. You see, uh, it's my kind of that. I'm not sure. Maybe we can switch that. Go back here, pan it again. It's kind of blind. Uh, yeah, yes. So we can have like some kind of stir around thing. Maybe some leaf. Yeah, some type of texture like this. And um we have something uh look arguably similar to that, even though the color might be different. Usually I don't like those type of colorful stuff. Uh yeah, but just for demonstration. It is okay to have those too. Uh, yes, so that is the end of our tutorial. Uh, thank you for uh, looking at this. Uh, I'm just gonna stop it now. Thank you again.